الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بعد Welcome brothers and sisters tonight uh, in the 12th night of uh, Ramadan. Inshallah, tonight I'll talk about the prophets. Okay, so if you remember, we uh, I mentioned last week the pillars of faith and one of them to believe in the prophets or to believe in the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, I like to mention a little bit more details about the prophets. They, uh, what should we know uh, or what is written in the Quran and Sunnah about the Prophets as I mentioned last week that we have to believe in all the Prophets all the messengers okay I should believe that Musa is a messenger Isa Jesus Dawood David Yahya John Zakaria all of them I should believe in all the Prophets of Allah subhanahu uh, wa ta'ala I, what, what do I mean by, by, by saying we should believe in them? We believe that they are messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the prophets from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, uh, the messengers and the prophets are human beings. They are not angels, they are not jinn, and also they are not gods. Okay, they are like us human beings. Okay, as we mentioned, they eat, they drink, they fast, they fight, they, they die. They are human beings. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them special criteria. So let's talk about this criteria of the prophets, alayhim salatu wasalam, or uh, the special things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. Uh, one of them, al-wahi, the, the uh, revelation. Okay, so all the prophets get got the, the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, sometimes through Jibreel and there are other things, sometimes through the angel Jibreel and sometimes other things. Okay, so all the prophets receive the wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so we don't get any wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We and them are human beings, but one of the differences that they they get the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned at the end of Surah Al-Kahf, قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ I am, I, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am, tell them that I am a human being like you. But I have revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ Another point also, which is called the Isma, which is called the Isma. What is the meaning of the Isma? The prophets don't do the major sins. You know, in Islam, we have major, major sins and minor sins. Major sins, for example, drinking khamr, drinking alcohol, killing the innocent people, uh, adultery, taking riba, the interest, stealing. These are major sins. The prophets don't do the major sins at all. The prophets, alayhi salatu wasalam, don't do the major sins. Okay? And also, we should know that the prophets and messengers don't give any wrong information related to the, revel the revelation. And also, they don't hide anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them to expose to people. Okay, so this is very important. We should believe that the messengers conveyed the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, told them. Also, one of the points that the Prophet sallallahu told us that the prophets, their eyes sleep, but their hearts don't sleep. Okay, there is a hadith when the Prophet sallallahu prayed, then he uh, went to sleep. Then Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, Oh Rasulullah, uh, you are going to sleep before doing the water? Before, before tra praying water? He said, sallallahu alayhi wa my eyes sleep while my heart don't, doesn't sleep. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Alayhi salatu wa salam. And there is another hadith 
it came as a general hadith the prophet sallallahu mentioned this is for all the prophets not only for him and also one of the things related to the prophets alayhim salatu wasalam what they left after their death will not go to their children the inheritance it means their family will not inherit the wealth of the prophet alayhim salatu wasalam so the money will go to the muslims the money will go to the Muslims. Okay? So the Prophet ﷺ said, Okay, we as prophets will not be inherited. What we left is a charity. The money will not go to my daughter, my son, like the other people. No. My money, all of my wealth or my money uh, should go to the charity. Should go to the charity. Uh, also, one of the criteria of the Prophets, alayhim salatu wasalam, if they put the, uh, the, shield, the shield and they take the sword for fighting, they will not remove them without fighting. It means, if you tell them, yalla, let's go to fight the enemy, and they prepare themselves, then you tell, khalas, we change our mind, we will not fight, they will not do that. Ma, the Prophet sallallahu said, ma kana li nabi idha labi salamatahu an yada'a hatta yuqatil. It is not allowed, or this is this should not be for any Prophet. When he put his lama, uh, yani something like the, 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 the head protection, then uh, uh, until he fights, he will not remove that. He will not remove that. Of course, this means that the, the prophets are brave people. Okay, they don't, they are not afraid. They don't fear the enemy. Alayhim salatu wasalam. Also, one of the criteria of the prophets, alayhim salatu wasalam, they should be buried in, a, in the place where they die. Okay, or the prophets, before the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam, they buried in the place they, where they died. And the same thing happened to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He died in the house of Aisha, so he was buried in the house of Aisha until now. So his, the grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the house in the place of house of Aisha radiyallahu taala anhum. Also, the prophets, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that the 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 earth will not eat the body of the prophets, the bodies of the prophets. Uh, uh, they will not decay. Okay? For normal people, if you bury the, uh, the people after maybe six months, seven months, eight months, خلاص, you will not see the body. Okay? It will decay. It will go in the earth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected the bodies of the prophets. Alayhim salatu wasalam. Also, uh, one of the criteria of the prophets that the uh, calamities are more because they reward more. Alayhim salatu wasalam. Alayhim salatu wasalam. Also, uh, one of the criteria of the prophets, alayhim salatu wasalam, as he said, yusallun fi quburihim. They are live, they are, la, uh, they are not dead in their graves, they are praying. They are live. In their graves, praying. Okay, how Allah alam how? But we should believe that they are praying. Okay, of course, this is a different kind of life because there is something called the hayat al dunya, number two, al hayat al barzakhiya, number three, al hayat al ukhrawiya. Now we are living in the worldly life. Then after death, okay, it is the grave life. It is called barzakh. Barzakh means the margin or something in between two things. Then, Hayat al the last, the, the hereafter, this is uh, unlimited. Okay? The end will be to paradise or to uh, the hellfire. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be in paradise. So, this is my topic today.